Joining us here is Nobel laureate Professor Hartmut Michel, who discovered the basics of photosynthesis, the way that plants actually harvest the energy of the sun. Um, now we've heard about the Higgs particle. Is there something similar in biology, something very important that still has to be discovered? Oh, uh, the major thing which has to be discovered is how your brain functions and what you, what you, are, what you will be able to understand. So we have to, to develop a system which understands itself, which sounds complicated. If you look back to your finding, what was your main characteristic, the main characteristic you needed to make such a special discovery? Actually, I didn't believe in textbook statements. And I thought, how can I prove that the textbook, textbook statements are incorrect? The textbook statement was, uh, it is impossible to crystallize membrane proteins, to make real crystals out of membrane proteins. And I thought this should be possible from my own observations. And I worked very hard and, and thought carefully how to manage this. And then I looked for a promising system and this was photosynthesis. Because photosynthesis is abundant and the proteins are nicely colored. And color changes uh, tell you when you kill the protein. So it's very easy to work with photosynthetic protein and it's enjoyable. So actually your recommendation is never listen to what the books say and what scientists uh, from for the times actually say. Most important is that you are critical. You always have to think uh, that uh, what you are told might be wrong mm -hmm. and you have to test and check this yourself mm -hmm. and come up with your conclusions. Actually, politics these days is thinking in a type of photosynthesis too. Let's say they're thinking about a regenerative way to produce energy, to harvest energy from the sun, from the wind and so on. Do you think we will be successful with that before all the fossil fuels have gone? We have no alternative. We have to be successful before all the fossil fuel uh, is gone. Yeah? And we are able to, to be successful. It's only a, it's only a matter of price. Yeah, if it, it gets more costly yeah, to, to, to produce energy, and we can, but if at, even at the moment we can produce enough energy. The big problem is how to store energy. Yeah? And we have uh, to solve the storage problem. Because you know the sun shines only during the day at, uh, with us, and uh, we need the energy in the night and so on, and uh, so we have to store the energy. There would one problem, to s one way to solve the energy problem without storing, this would be to have, a, to have photovoltaic or photothermal fields all over the world to connect, connect them with superconducting electricity cables and the, the, when, when, when it's night with us, then we have uh, sunlight in Australia and we could, we could uh, transport the energy from Australia to Germany. That's actually not the way that nature does it. I mean, isn't there a way to copy the principles of nature to harvest all this energy a bit easier? Uh, nature does in a very complicated and inefficient way and there are many things which nature was unable to solve within three billion years of development. Like what? Uh, uh, for instance, uh, the photosystem of the plant gets damaged. And uh, so it gets, it gets irreversibly damaged. So uh, they have to, uh, to deconstruct the photosystem to replace the damaged unit and to put the whole thing together. And this happens in the plant 20 times a minute. But I do not think that we will be able to develop a technical system in such a sophisticated manner. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Michel.